A long time ago, there was a man named John who lived on an island <laughs> called Patmos. One day, something incredible happened. God gave him a vision, a special dream, to show him what the future holds. John's vision transported him into a heavenly throne room, more beautiful and majestic than anything on earth. It was filled with brilliant lights and colors and creatures unlike any he had seen before. Right there in the center of it all was Jesus. The vision showed Jesus approaching a mysterious book sealed with seven seals. This book contained the secrets of the future and only Jesus was worthy to open it and reveal its contents to John. The first four seals were represented by the four horsemen, conquest, war, famine, and lastly, death. As the first seal opened, Conquest came riding on a magnificent white horse. He had a crown because he was all about winning, but not by fighting. He had a bow and wanted to fill the world with peace and truth. Yet, his path was not without resistance. As he rode forward, he found that not every heart was ready to be won. Conquest's journey was a vision of the struggle between light and darkness in the world. When the second seal broke, War rode in on a fiery red horse, swinging a big sword. War was all about conflict, as he used his sword to take peace away from the earth, making people fight each other. It was as if everywhere you looked, people were arguing and battling, unable to find peace. With the third seal, Famine arrived looking serious on a black horse. He held scales that showed there wasn't enough food for everyone, Every meal became extremely important, and the people were greatly affected by the weight of hunger. This period tested the generosity and kindness of humanity, encouraging people to help one another, reminding us how sharing can bring light even in the darkest times. The fourth seal revealed a chilling sight, death. He showed up on a pale horse with Hades right behind him. They brought a time of sadness, with many people getting sick and resources becoming scarce, casting a shadow over the world. This time made everyone remember how important it is to care for each other and to make the most of every moment together, teaching us the value of compassion in the toughest times. When the fifth seal opened, John saw a sad sight. There were people who had stood up for what's right, but got hurt for it, their voices calling for justice. They wore white robes as a symbol of their goodness and that they wouldn't be forgotten. This promised a time when doing the right thing would win, a future where truth and bravery <laughs> shine the brightest. The sixth seal caused big trouble. Earthquakes shook the ground, the sun went dark, and the moon turned red, shocking everyone who saw. Stars seemed to fall from the sky, painting a picture of a world in need of change. This was a clear signal that it was time for everyone to think about how they could make things right again, urging us to come together and rebuild what was lost. Ooh. Lastly, the seventh seal brought a deep silence, as if everyone was holding their breath. This quiet time was not just a pause, but a chance for everyone to reflect about what had happened and what was coming next. Then seven angels appeared with trumpets to let the people know that more challenges and trials were waiting ahead, urging them to be ready for what the future holds. John's vision of the seven seals is full of stories and lessons. It's about never giving up, teaching us to stick together, believe in good, and keep looking for the light even when it's hard.